Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance, and this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Anonymous, and this is Anonymous from Don't Let the Fire of Rage Allow You to Break No Contact. And I'm sorry I took a little, I'm a little late getting this video up. It's the, when I got back, the roofers were here again, and they would spent the whole day pounding on the roof, so it was just too noisy to to get the videos. So. Here we go. Hi, Ollie. This story has a title. I was drowned with a spike right through my head. This is a response to your comments of my previous video of my previous story and elaboration and an elaboration on previous story. As people said in the comments section, the highlight of your previous video responses were your remarkable comments about fighting biology DNA and going against nature and no contact. Also near the beginning of the video, your comments about going back and identifying when you were broken. I actually feel that I was gradually broken over decades, as in CPTSD. The tricycle incident was really bad, but that incident by itself did not break, did not break me. Espe equally bad as the pain landing on the base of my spine on the concrete was that, as usual, neither parents acknowledged that anything had happened. You know, it's, it's tough. It's like, you're not even there. Even when you're injured, there's, there's, and, and again, there, there, there's the biology again. When, when, when your child falls and is hurt, okay, your natural instinct as a parent is to run to that child, to care for that child, to make sure that child is okay. Again, in your case, another example of biology and basic DNA not being there. The basic biology of what's supposed to keep families together and what's supposed to have parents protecting their young wasn't there. Wasn't there for you, wasn't there for a lot of us. <clears throat> then you segued into the topic of public humiliation from the tricycle incident which was on a public sidewalk. My thoughts are that when I was most broken was during frequent family dinners when my father would loudly say my name with disgust and a hateful expression of disdain on his face. That was mostly during my early teen years and I did not have any verbal skills to fight back with. You know, the dinner table attacks, see, with me it was either I was called brain dead, okay, that was what my father used to like to call me, brain dead. You know, again, an attack on my intelligence, which he obviously felt inferior to. So they attack what your strengths are. Because as I've said, my father's a dummy. Yeah, so it was either I was being called brain dead or the entire meal consisted of my father, brother, and mother just mocking me and humiliating me. The whole process makes you feel alone. Then again, you're alone, you're abandoned. So here on one hand, you have the tricycle incident where you're, where you're injured out in public and no one cares, then no reaction. And then when they got you behind closed doors, so out in public, they ignore you. And then in private, they abuse the shit out of you and there's no one there and you're all alone and you're there as a kid trying to trying to trying to fend these things off and you're saying in your early teens as you know you're getting older and your hormones are changing and teens are pretty angsty in the first place how are you supposed to process all this that was mostly during my early teens and I did not have any verbal skills to fight back with and no one stood up for me of course not my mom would do this really weird thing of tilting her head slightly and looking at my dad indulgently as if he was a little boy, as if he was a little boy testing boundaries of naughtiness. This would be my dad's typical punish punishment whenever he did something atrocious at the dinner table. 
I guarantee you, your father liked that look from your mother. That That is part of the unspoken communication that the narcissists, the enablers, the flying monkeys, this is part of the dynamic that you can never really put into words. And if you ever actually tried to call your mother and father out on this, they deny it and call you crazy and gaslight you over it. But this is the stuff that burns those fires of rage. This is the stuff you need to remember. Okay? Because understand something. And this is what something everybody needs to understand about these narcissists. They are your enemy. They hate you. So when you're not going no contact with them, or you're trying to put it off, or you're making excuses, you're making excuses for your enemy. They want to destroy you. I guarantee you, your father liked that look. I guarantee you, your father abused you just so he could get that look from your mother. It's all a game. It was all a game, and that's the frustrating part about it. That's the enraging part about it. You can't put it into words. You're a teenager. You're growing. You got nobody has your back. Out in public, you don't exist. And behind closed doors, you're the friggin' punching bag. These people are your enemy. Let me tell one typical ultra bizarre thing my dad said once at the dinner table. It was like a Thanksgiving dinner or something like that with lots of people at the table, including my brother and his wife named Whore. Not a real name. I should hope not. But I understand the sentiment. sentiment. Suddenly, out of the blue, during a quiet moment, he says really loudly, in a voice dripping with disgust, Whore emits an owner which Anonymous finds attractive. Motherfucker, when they assign... Th when they tell you in front and tell other people... See, this is what the narcissist does. They tell you and they tell the world what your thoughts are. As fact. And again, another att attempt to publicly... Now, now this is definitely an attempt to publicly humiliate you and shame you. Designed to do what? To, 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 to cause friction with your brother? To embarrass you with your brother? Embarrass you in public? Make it uncomfortable with his wife? assigning to you as a fact as he knows the thoughts that are going in your mind what but that's what the narcissist does they tell you what you're thinking why you did it and what your motivations are behind things things that are just crazy shit just out of the blue whore admits an odor which anonymous finds attractive like what is that that would suggest that you have had conversations with your father, that you have a thing for this woman, that this is a... Like, oh. Just another example of delightful and loving family interactions during the holidays. Then everything just continued as if no one had said anything. And whore was sitting right there next to her husband, my brother. My brother who was covert and loyal, similar to your brother. But it sure wasn't funny at the time. It was just like everyone agreeing that it was okay for my dad to say any kind of put down about me. Actually, whore had been my girlfriend for a few weeks before I went away to another in a long list of random and meaningless college experiences because I didn't know what else to do. When I left, she and my brother got together. What? Okay. Okay. Here's the fucking maddening thing about this. Okay. 
you had her first. You went to college to, to move on with your life. You didn't want her. And she latches on to your brother. Your brother takes your sloppy seconds. And I'm sorry, that's what it is. Your brother, scumbag move as it is. How... <laughs> No boundaries, no respect, no dignity, no shame, no anything. This motherfucker is riding on your sloppy seconds and your piece of shit of a father is turning it around that somehow you have something for her. You were the one who left. Your brother's riding your sloppy seconds. This is what they do to you because they isolate you. They, they bully you. They ignore you. And they put you on such a defensive that you don't even fight back. You don't even know where to begin to start fighting back against these fucking people. Somehow your old man turns it around against you that you have some kind of weird thing with, with your brother's wife. Meanwhile, your brother's wife is your sloppy seconds. I mean, come on. Come on. That's some Jerry Springer shit right there. That's some Jerry fucking Springer shit right there. And who's all the shame on? It's on you, not on them, not where it belongs. On them. Somehow the guy is saying, no, this is wrong. Somehow you're the fucked up one? No. When I left, she and my brother got together. Like, my brother just had to have anything I had. What an idiot. Yeah, you're sloppy seconds. How sad. Now for even more creepy and stupid stuff. The stuff about the name Lola in the previous video caused some interesting comments in the comments section. Yeah, it's about Lolita. I, I figured that out. As I said in the comments, I didn't even think of the, the, the Kinks song until someone mentioned it in the comments. Then I got interested and looked up information on Google and Wikipedia. Actually, what I was trying to say has to do with the song Whatever Lola Wants. Oh, really? Okay. I thought it was more of a Lolita thing, but okay. Has to do with more of the song Whatever Lola Wants. Whatever Lola Wants, Lola Gets. That makes sense. That makes sense. And various related movies, singers, and notorious historical figures. But getting back to my little story, what I really meant to say is that it wasn't just that my dad gave my sister the middle name of Lola. What I didn't say was that he would walk around the house singing that song in a way that made me feel creepy and uncomfortable. Yeah. He did that for a few years off and on when I, with, when I was a preteen and in my early teens. He would just sing the song out loud walking around the house, not specifically directed at me. He would sing this creepy little song in a creepy little voice, kind of like the way Mick Jagger sings. Please allow me to introduce myself in the beginning of Sympathy for the Devil. Please allow me to introduce myself. It's more of a spoken word at the beginning, isn't it? Whatever, that is a odd, whatever Lola wants. Yeah, I mean, that is, wow. That is him telling you your place. That's him telling everybody their place. And don't think it was probably easy for Lola either, your sister. Okay, because that sounds like some pseudo-sexual molest, uh, pseudo-sexual, inappropriate sexual, sexual stuff going on there as well. That's him telling you by singing whatever, I'm glad you clarified, that makes a lot more sense. Whatever Lola wants, Lola gets. But you get nothing. What do you get? You get made fun of. 
you get ignored. You get called names. You get false pretenses put on you <laughs> when your brother is riding your sloppy seconds. See, it's easier to gaslight with us with something like that, like, oh, you're crazy, whatever Lola wants. So that's not what that means. Because the singer to, to walk around singing fuck anonymous, he ain't getting shit, is gonna be a little bit too obvious, right? Whatever song, whatever song you could whatever song you could think up that would go that would that would make it obvious about what he was talking about. Whatever Lola wants, Lola gets was him telling you you get nothing. She gets everything and you get nothing. In singing it, sing song voice. I've talked about people using those sing song voices. Well, what about when you're actually singing a song? My mother used to love when she got me really upset. She'd start singing at me. She starts singing at me and like, damn, oh, and I would, like, I want to flip the fucking table over right now. Just thinking about that fucking heifer cow torturing me with that shit. And her and that fat little fuck brother of mine dancing around the kitchen, singing songs at me, trying to rub shit in. Believe me, I know what you're talking about. One of the la one last thing is that it really works to keep listening to hundreds of your videos saved in my downloads. It really helps getting through no contact struggles. And there are a lot more no contact videos in your parental alienation playlist that are that are in than are in your no contact playlists. Last thing I want to do is recommend three of your videos that I, that have been especially helpful to me. To realize I'm not the only pathetic victim that has been fooled for decades by narcissistic terminators. Control, control, control. How they fooled me and why. Because they are sick, damaged, demonic, and je with jealousy, envy, arrogance, and hate. And that's exactly right. You got it right. Because all of those tactics are all about control, control, control. I'm looking forward to keep searching through your videos because I'm sure there are at least several hundred great ones I haven't heard yet. These are the three videos that I recommend for those who haven't heard them yet. Thanksgiving night after you dealt with the narcissistic terminator, you were actually standing up during the making of this video published November 2015. I remember that one. The narcissist has, does, and will, and always will hate you. And that's the point. It's funny you bring that one up because as I'm telling you, they hate you. I'm telling you, this narcissist is your enemy. They are your enemy. They hate you. They hate you. Funny that's that one resonated with you. Adult children of parental alienation and narcissism deserve the, br the brutal truth of your abuse, published in October of 2015. Ali, I know you aren't very comfortable with being complimented, but I can help compliment you because you have made so many amazing and powerful videos. And what a great community of storytellers. Your channel is really something awesome that is being overlooked by the mainstream culture for whatever reasons. You should have at least 10 million subscribers. Are people just afraid? Is narcissism too embedded in the culture and life and like people can't see it because it's so common? Is it because there are so many narcs and they don't want to be outed? I think you and your channel are way ahead of human social cultural evolution. What do you think? Anonymous. I've said this before. I think the real problem is people are weak. Most people are followers. Most people do not have the strength 
that we have to walk away and stay away. Most people take the easy way out. They take the, they take the money, they take the prizes, they take the appeasement. And they don't live their life. They live their lives the way the narcissist wants them to live their lives. They live their lives as servants to their abusers. Most people are followers. Most people are afraid. Most people don't want to stand up to these demons. They don't want to stand up to evil. They don't have the strength about it. Others just can't recognize it for what it is. It's very hard to explain these things to people who haven't been abused. Especially people who haven't been abused. People who have normal loving families. The 98% of the world or 95% of the world or whatever the percentage is of the world of people who grow up where the, where the DNA and the biology works, where there's protection and love and caring that's not us that's not us so you may have been drowned with a spike right through your head but the reason that spike is through went, went through your head in the first place is because the narcissist is your sworn enemy always has been always will be so I hope that helps. Thank you so much for another contribution and story, Anonymous. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to have a private video made, or you'd just like to make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you without you guys all this goes away and google and youtube would like that to happen sooner than later so if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this you know what to do with the paypal and email links in the description box also please like and share this video wherever you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads also please be sure to follow me on the library app as a backup links provided in the description box as well i'm ollie matthews this has been the narcissistic resistance take care